Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's great to see you. Welcome on in. Today we're building. I don't know what we're building though because I have no clue what I'm doing anymore on this island. But um, yeah, we're gonna do like a different type of build video today. A bit like a, a bit like a let's play. I've never really done a build video like this before, so you're gonna have to let me know in the comments below. Oh my god, that fence behind me, there's a pumpkin on it. I just realized that this is what we did last time. Isn't this pretty? We give Daisy a little yard. And then over here on my last stream, I made an attempt to actually do this. But I'm not quite sure about it yet. I'm not 100% sold on it. I might actually get rid of this. But I have this awkward space here. And I'm thinking maybe like a little cafe maybe that's what we could do like a little pumpkin cafe sort of thing you know selling jams and pumpkin soup and all that stuff you know coffees maybe that's what we can do today i was gonna have it raised but i think i might keep it ground level so let's go ahead and knock this down it seems that we oh my turnips died oh dear i'm terrible at keeping them alive Anyway, I seem to have got rid of that quite easily and <laughs> quickly. So now we need to plan our layout. Now, I want this to be like the entrance. So you come here and this will be like the entrance to the cafe. This will be like the back area. The peninsula is going to be something completely different. I'm not sure what the peninsula is going to be yet. But that's a future me problem and probably another video. So <laughs> there's too many things to go. Decorating an island. That butterfly is really pretty. Oh, this butterfly blends in so well. What was I saying? Oh, we're gonna plan. Oh, why is there a random bush here? Hold on. Okay, these are really pretty. Oh my god. <gasps> these. I love these. Is this one got a pumpkin on it? We have to use this one. Maybe we could have this one as well. So I have like the little cupboard at the top. I kind of like that. I love this bakery code. And this one. I like the little bear. Okay, and lastly, there is a pumpkin latte sign hopefully in this one there it is oh, they have few oh my god i thought they only had the one oh now i have to choose maybe i can have both i'm gonna have both we have our basic codes now i need to plan the layout and then we have to go treasure island shopping fun so let's get rid of this again we have this awkward space i want to keep the pond so we're gonna have to work around that I think maybe if we extend this just a little bit more and then we make it into like a little bit of a dirt path leading into the cafe. That, that'll be cute, right? Something like this, just to make it look like it's on dirt. I kind of, I kind of like layering the pathing like that. It might not look great to others, but I think it kind of adds something more. I always like to use two different type of fences. I just think it adds a bit more to your island. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add that. I'll figure out the rest in a minute. Okay, now for my flooring, I think we'll go in the basic deck flooring. I don't, oh my God, not that one. Jeez, we don't put covers on the floor. I don't really have much else that I could use. Okay, we'll use this one. Now I want it to go behind this tree. So let's just go ahead and start. Okay, there we have it. We have the flooring down. It kind of looks weird right now, but I will, I will bring it to life. Okay, trust me. Trust the process. Okay, we need to go treasure island shopping. So I'm going to do that real quick. I will be back. Okay, let me go and do some shopping and I will be back. Okay, I went Treasure Island shopping and then I went code shopping and I found this code and I prefer this code a lot more than what we had. Also, I managed to get a few things so I really want to get cracking on with this build now because I feel like if not, I'm never going to do it. So first things first, let's just start placing things down. This will be like the back side of our cafe area. So I think the middle section will be like a window. And then we want, and then we want our simple panels here. I want them kind of staggered sort of thing. So we're going to have the cupboard one. I think this one's a cupboard one. We're going to have it here. These butterflies. I love them. They're so cute. Okay, we'll have this one here. I like the different varies of the color tones as well. It really goes well with the island theme. So it's blending in perfectly. Okay, put that one there. And then we're going to have one here as well. 
Oh, it looks so good. Okay. Okay. Now that I've done the leaf coat, I want to add the loft beds behind here. Just add a little bit more depth. I have customized the tops as well and it just makes them look like little rooftops and I love it. I love how it looks. I highly recommend doing it if you're going to use loft beds on your builds. Let's push this in real quick. There we go. I think a tree should go in the middle. So let's go and grab a tree. I, am go I want to fit it right here. Perfect. Oh, wow, that really looks good. I like the colors. Okay, put the loft bed back. Please go back. This is looking so cute. Okay, let me put this now in front of you. I got the covered counters because I really like how they look. They look perfect for like cafes and stuff. So that's what we're going to use for this. Let's start stacking stuff on it. I've got the bread. No, I didn't mean to show it off. <laughs> Look at my bread. Okay, let me put this down. Place that one here. Thank you. And on this side, we could... I had the veggie basket. Where's that gone? There it is. Well, not in the middle. You're not taking up all the show. Maybe put it here. Will you go on the edge? Okay, now we need to... So we need like a gap and then we need to put these tables down. I thought about having these rather than having the counters. I thought it added more of a rustic feel to it. Then put the box down and the lantern. Sahara, really, you're really going to come and do this now? Seriously? Why do the NPCs always get in my way? If it's not the NPCs, it's the villager. I just, I give up with this. Just let me decorate in peace, please. Okay, let's put the other one here. Cute. I want to put this on here as if to say, hey, we, um, we sell this. So buy some of my bread and then maybe another one on this side. I have the apple jam. No, I'm showing it off again. I'm really proud of it. Let me put that there. Okay, this is something. It's it's getting there. I have this kitchen and I thought I could put it here. But I feel like it looks stupid here unless, unless I can make it work with having trees around it. But I can't put a tree that close. It needs something here. It's too open. Maybe we just extend it a little. We might just have to go to the edge. I didn't want to, but I think we're going to have to. Okay, let me put the stone kitchen back. Oh, that looks better now. And then what I'm going to do, can I push this up more? I'm going to actually put a tree in here. I think an apple tree will be a nice little variety. Oh, no, wait. <gasps> do I, oh, well, now I'm confused. Do I use a cedar or an apple? Because we have a lot of red and browns. So maybe a pop of green would be what we needed. That's perfect. I think that's definitely what we needed. Can I even put some? I can put something there as well. Okay. Oh, we have the coffee grinder. So let me place everything else that I have. So it's out of my inventory. So we're going to place this. This is looking really cute. This will be my entrance area. So I do have a different code that I want to use. So let's go ahead and put that one down. We just need to delete four sections and then we can place it down. Then we can place our hedges in. Oh, not there. What am I doing? I hate that. I hate when you're trying to pick something up and it kicks something. It kicks the code off and you're just like, really? That's not what I wanted you to do. All right, I have some more stuff to put in this little cafe. Let's let's just start placing things down. Ugh. See, you're always in the way. I do need another tree. Oh, I have an apple one, perfect. Completely forgot I had that one, so no, not that. We need the shovel and let's put the tree here. Put a little apple tree here. Perfect. And then we're gonna just fence this up and then I think I'll just extend the pond out at a later date. That's a future me problem. But for now, we're gonna fence this off. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. This is going to be like a little seating area. So I feel like, did I get the sofas? Yes, I did. I got these nice sofas on. Oh, I forgot the plants. Wait, hold on. I'll be back. Okay, I have them now. I swear I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. I wanted this. Put the others over here and I want to create like a little seating area sort of thing. And I think the colors of this match so well with the fall. Um, I have a little table. No, wait, where is it? Okay, it doesn't matter if you can't get on it. It's for decoration. <laughs> it's for decoration. It's fine. 
the little candles there. It's cozy. It's cozy. Let's try and make this look like a restaurant, shall we? Well, like a cafe. It's a cafe, not a restaurant. What am I even saying anymore? I don't even know. I'm gonna put these down just to try and border this off a little. I wanna put my tables down in this gap. I feel like that, that's like a perfect way to like fill that in. And another one here. Right, now we need to fill this area in. I think that looks alright. And if we put a topiary here, I know you can fit there, don't lie to me. That's a gap. Oh my god, not there. I want you in here, please. Thank you. I might change the topiary for something else yet. Let's get the other fences in, just to fill this in. Okay, this is looking decent. I'll probably leave this as a little walkway so we might have something on the beach. I don't know if I'll decorate the beaches yet. When do I ever decorate the beaches? Right, seating areas I have variations of chairs that I want to use. So I feel like having mixed match chairs just adds more character. I know I said I'd leave this as a gap but <laughs> never mind. I'm a liar. I think if I have this one here like that. Um, I have a stall that I want to put down as well. The pop of green every now and again looks so good. Just please, can you come over this way? Where is it? Did I even get it out? Probably not. Okay, I have more stuff because clearly I never have my brain screwed on. So, the plant partition, we're going to start in this area now. Put the plant partition down here just to fill up this little gap. And then I have these small simple panels customized as like a little shop sign. So I want to put these around too. I'll have one here and maybe if I can squeeze one here. I like that looks so silly. Never mind. I think I'll just put a wheat field in there. Let me just, Sahara, please, please move. Oh my goodness. I just needed to cover up that corner, I think. Sahara, please, please leave. I hate these villagers. I can still get in and out of there, so that's cool. And then here I will, I'm going to play it safe and I will just put a wheat field. I actually kind of like it. It's a little bit more natural. And then just to fill this area out, I'm gonna put a street lamp just to add a little bit more height. Here, just to fill this out and make it look oh, so horror, please. You're driving me crazy. We're gonna add a bike here. This will just fill in this area a little. I wonder if I should add the mats underneath the tables as well just to break up the pathing a little because the wood gets very repetitive so if i did this it just add a little bit more to look at oh see that looks so good perfect okay let me put a book down and then maybe do i have the candles or not i think on this one i'll put the strapped books if i can ever find them we're getting there we're nearly done we're getting there it's starting to look good. I don't think I could push that so let's put the stool here. Now we just need to fill in like the little areas. Okay, let's do a little walkthrough. Just ignore the ugly villagers, all right? We're just going to do a walkthrough. Come on, let's go and have a look.
See, with this cafe here now, I feel like the build across the street is starting to look a little bit more in place. So we have the little entryway, we have the little relaxation sitting area. I love these sofas. I think I'm going to use them a lot more around. We have cute little pumpkins, cute mixed match tables, giving me such like warm fall vibes and I love it. Oh, it looks so good. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Okay, guys, that is all from me today. Please be sure to let me know in the comments what you feel about today's video. Did you enjoy a little bit more of a let's play build vibe? Did you enjoy today's build? Has it inspired you for some fall builds on your island? Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe if you have enjoyed yourselves. And until next time, bye.